one of the things that I've gotten a little sick of is all these stories being relatively the same. And I'm, I'm trying to step outside of that. We at DC are trying to step outside of that. This is Digital Charcuterie, and if you are looking forward to the new upcoming Superman movie or all of the DCU, hit that subscribe button because we're going to talk about it, discuss it, review it, and more right here on the channel. And thank you so much. We just hit 4,000 subscribers. It means a lot to us here at the channel, so thank you so much. And so if you haven't, hit the subscribe because now we'd like to get to 5,000. All right, let's get right into it. Superman is releasing in July from James Gunn. There's been a lot of talk. Is James Gunn going to make it too goofy? Is James Gunn the right director for this? And it doesn't really matter because he's the head of the studio, so he can call the shots, and he's decided that he is the right director for this movie. He's not going to direct them all. He says there's about four other projects he wants to direct that he could direct. And, of course, he's also mentioned that the ratings will be all over the place. I did a video on the tone of this movie a little while ago, but today I want to talk about the trailer because it seems to be stressing a lot of people out. Even though we are like five, six, seven months out from the movie actually releasing, people are like, where is the trailer? I want the trailer. Get me the trailer. I'm not so concerned with where the trailer is, all this trailer talk. I don't, I mean, I'm going to see the movie. I don't really care. I mean, I, look, don't get me wrong. I'm very intrigued and interested in seeing what they're doing with Superman, how he's going to relate this character to the screen this time. But I don't really need the trailer to sell me I'm going to go see it. I'm just, I want to see Superman. I want to see more of this product. So show me what it is. That's more of where I'm at at it. I, if I if they were like, hey, it's coming in July, go see it without a trailer, I would actually be like, okay, fine. But anyway, look, the trailer is going to come. They've said mid-December, but there's been a lot of discussions that maybe it's not ready. Maybe the movie's not good, but I, I don't believe any of that. I think James Gunn is going to be totally locked down locked in and he's going to direct the fuck out of this movie i don't think there's any cause for concern i think james gunn is actually for the first time probably from in filmmaking history he's going to leave his and check his ego at the door and he's going to walk into this movie with a different mindset than he normally does he's going to bring his directing skills with him i think he's a very talented director if you watch the movies he's made the shots and compositions everything it's just beautiful i mean that's cinematography but he's very He's a very talented director and he understands characters quite a bit, but I think what he's going to do is he's going to take what you know and love from Superman and bring that to the forefront in his stuff. I mean, there'll still be elements of James Gunn there. That's who he is and that's why you go see specific filmmakers, but I think he understands that people aren't necessarily going to go see Superman for James Gunn. They're going to see Superman for Superman and I love Man of Steel, but the, the Snyderverse stuff, you know, was very, it was split, right? People didn't love it, people loved it, whatever, it's kind of split. So I think this his job now is like, how do we get everybody on board and be like, this is Superman for everybody? And the trailer is the first step in showing that. And I want to talk a little bit about this tweet right here from Dan Marcus. I'm really excited for the Superman trailer. From everything I've heard, there is enormous pressure internally from inside Warner Brothers for the trailer to be received well. Apparently the studio asked for multiple different cuts of the trailer to find the best version. To clarify, since every trailer necessitates multiple cuts, apparently the editor cutting the trailer presented a fairly finalized version to the studio weeks ago. The studio wasn't happy and said make it better. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be part of the marketing department over there, which was recently gutted. So what we get here is that the trailer wasn't up to snuff with what they wanted. Uh, but of course, this is all hearsay, right? Well, guess what? James Gunn, good old James Gunn, who steps in and clarifies everything, but also maybe makes some things a little bit more confusing. He stepped in and had this to say. Well, sort of. But when he says studio, that's solely me. As the only studio involved in cutting or anything to do with the trailer is DC Studios, i.e. me and Peter. And I'm the creatively demanding one. This is the exact same rigorous process I've gone through cutting every Guardians trailer, pushing the marketing folks as hard as I can, cutting and recutting until I think we have something worthy of the film itself. All that said, my notes are a lot more specific than make it better. And I love this answer from James Gunn because he says all of his movies, he wants the same quality and effort put into the trailers. He wants the trailers to perfectly represent the movies you're going to go see. And when you think about the trailers for the films that he's directed, especially especially the Guardians movies and the Suicide Squad, obviously the most recent ones, but when you think of those trailers, they perfectly represent the movie you're walking into. So if you don't like the trailers for those, you're probably not going to like the movies. Or maybe you find the movies are just a more fleshed out version of the trailer, or maybe you buy into it a little bit more or maybe even it works the opposite way but he needs the trailers to perfectly encapsulate what the film he's doing 
represents. And in the case of Superman, it represents a lot because I believe there is a ton of pressure on Warner Brothers, on DC Studios for this for this movie to be a massive hit. And when I say massive hit, I don't mean financially. I don't think it's going to be a colossal juggernaut at the box office. I've said this many times. I think it's going to do well if it's good. If it's not good, that's another issue. But they need the movie to be critically acclaimed and they need the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes to be high as well. Side Akbar, the holidays are coming up. It's Black Friday time. And if you're looking for a gift for a loved one, a friend, or a family member, check out Limelight Co. Candles, they are organic, no paraffins, coconut soy. You can get molds, you can get different scents. Check out the website. And if you promo code Black Friday 10, you'll get 10% off your order. I need word of mouth to get around so that people are like, okay, Superman's back, DC's back. What does that mean? I'm invested again. And this trailer, I've said this before, is the first step in that process. This trailer is the olive branch they're going to reach out to all the fans that felt abandoned by the Snyderverse and even, and, and to all those fans who felt ab abandoned because WB abandoned the Snyderverse. This is the olive branch saying, trust us. Trust the process. Trust the new DC studios. We are here to make things right again. And in doing that, this trailer has to succeed. It has to show action. It has to show heart. It has to show emotion. And it has to show you that you want to go and spend your money to sit in a theater to watch another superhero movie, a superhero who has been played multiple times in the theater. We had Brandon Ruth followed shortly after by Henry Cavill, who was very underutilized in the role of Superman in the Snyderverse films. When you think about it, like he was in Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and then... Justice League is kind of sprinkled in. Like he was very, and then Black Adam, of course, he showed up, but he was sprinkled in there. And and so you've got to remind the audience, like, hey, you want to see good movies? This is a good movie. It's more than just a superhero movie. This is what you've been asking for. This is the Superman movie you've been waiting for on both sides of the aisle. Now, obviously, there are going to be fans of the Snyderverse that are, are going to have nothing to do with James Gunn's Superman. And there are fans on the other side that might just be like, I'm not interested in this. And that's why the movie doesn't have to make a gazillion dollars, but it has to be good. It has to be good enough that someone watches it and says to the fan of the Snyder films, like, you know what? You might want to give this one a shot because I know that's what you like. This one's a little bit different in tone, but it's got all the heart and soul of Superman. And the same thing on the other side. You're like, you know, I know you're tired of Superman, but this new one's pretty damn good. And so they have to really figure that out. And it's in a tough spot too, with Fantastic Four coming out in a few weeks. And early word on that is that it's a fantastic movie. No pun intended. Or was there? Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. So I am not concerned with this trailer or the movie at all. I think the trailer is in the process. James Gunn's seen it. We know that Frank Grillo has seen it and he praised it. So there's probably little cuts here and there. They're just trying to tighten it up, I bet. But I'm still thinking it's going to hit the December release date. And then we got this. This poster right here for... CCXP Brazil. Look at this thing. This is a thing of beauty. Got the logo on the bottom and he's stopping a locomotive. There's nothing more Superman than that. It's clearly corn sweat right there as Superman. You got the Daily Planet behind him. Metropolis looking like Metropolis. I love this right here. This detail on the legs and the feet. Brilliant. And down here, a James Gunn film. I'm kind of really warming up to the new Superman logo. Not going to lie. Really excited for it. This poster is making me excited. Other posters are coming out that we're going to get more and more slowly. Superman is going to come to the forefront of mainstream media soon. We're going to get inundated with Superman ads, Superman merchandise, Superman everything. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see the start of the DCU on December 5th with Creature Commandos, what that's going to bring. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited for Superman? Are you worried about this trailer? Is this trailer not living up to your hope? Do you think it's going to meet expectations or maybe succeed them? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. Until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.